All right, so we just got back from the next vet appointment with Max. So he is improving with his white cell count. So I think we are doing better. Um, as far as his feet, we are going, we bought a little Kong treat ball to keep him occupied so he doesn't chew his feet as much and cause as many as infections as he does. And we just put some of his food in it so hopefully that keeps him busy. It seems to a bit, but maybe he'll just have to get used to it. Watch out. Okay, Maximus is doing better. He's still wants to lay down all the time but he's getting better his immune system's really low so he can't be around other dogs so we kind of just of course lily's around him but we kind of just keep him relaxed and on his own but yeah look what look what matthew just did to his uh puppy he reversed the cone i think he looks good like that poor max you poor boy. <laughs> Don't film this. People are going to tell me mean to my dog. I'm filming. No. So I just went to Max's appointment and um, his white cell count is getting better. Um, it looks like he's getting better that way. But now he's getting more problems. He's got erratic heartbeat. Um, seems to have a murmur going on in his heart. And his one front paw is really swollen and cold to touch. So she's worried there's a blood clot somewhere. She's going to talk to an ultrasound person and hopefully get an ultrasound done as soon as possible. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, she's worried that he also has uh, infection in the lining of the heart. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry, you guys, but it was looking better. Today we had the appointment at the animal hospital for ultrasound on his heart as well as his limbs to see how that's going and we can check out the infection and see what our options are and what we can do to help save him or what's gonna happen. So I just wanted to let you guys know that we are heading to that appointment right now. We got a little sick Maximus right here and Lily is gonna go and spend the day with Mima and Devin. Max, I mean Matt took the day off work so he could come with me because yesterday, I don't know what it is, but the appointments that I go alone to with Maximus always something bad that happens and what do you know yesterday was a bad day and he wasn't there so i was like matt you're coming to the appointment today because i can't handle it my little heart can't take it I can't take it so he's an amazing boyfriend i love him so much you're a homo no all right, so we dropped off Max at the vet hospital for his ultrasound appointment. We couldn't be with him. I thought we would actually be in the room with him and everything during the procedure, but I guess not. So for the past hour, we just went to the mall. I went to Sephora and yeah. Now we're just heading back because they're all done and we're gonna find out the results and see what's going on with our baby boy. So we just got done with uh, Max's appointment. We were supposed to go for a, biop a bone biopsy. And we got there and we went into the back, they sedated him, they gave him tranquilizer, then he gave him an incision and started to hammer into the bone. And as we're standing there, he started to bend it and he was, he, let me just say this, he didn't get the bone marrow friggin' biopsy. He put Max through the entire pain of the whole procedure and didn't get it done because he didn't have the right tools. How the hell do you not have the right tools when this is what you're supposed to fucking do? He bent the needle, he just only had one. Like how do you only have one fucking needle when you're supposed to be doing bone biopsies of a dog? 
Like it was such, oh, I'm so pissed. Poor Maximus is all sore and sedated and we have to go back another day? Are you fucking kidding me? So now I'm gonna contact, I contacted my vet and I'm gonna see about going somewhere else because that's just pure bullshit. Like, oh. Guys, swung a hammer like a bitch. So after that fuck up of an appointment this morning, um, I talked to my vet and she apologized that that happened to Maximus, saying that we don't want to go back to do that to him again because it's just ridiculous to have to do another bone marrow biopsy and God knows if he'll even fucking do it right again. So. The vet is going to do some research on prednisone because that was our other option after this biopsy was he might have like what what she explained to me was like doggy aids so his nu nu nutrients the white cells that uh, attack infection he, his are so, so low, so he's unable to fight off infections. So it's kind of like someone with AIDS, where they're like a little, a little cold or something like that can kill them. So any little infection or illness will kill him right now. So how awesome is that, that this guy cut him open in the hip and left a wound on his back and he's super susceptible to friggin' dying in sicknesses right now so the vet is going to do some research on prednisone to get him on that to hopefully we're hoping that's going to be what he needs to boost up the white cells in his body to help him get better so his body just won't fight off infections so he's going to need hopefully some pills to boost up those cells, then he can fight them. If the prednisone doesn't work, then we're fucked. Like we we've got we've got nothing else we can do. So cross your fingers and hope that this prednisone works because if not, we're just gonna get a puppy. We're gonna give him the best life we can with the time we have him and hopefully he doesn't get sick or is in too much pain and we will probably make him into a bonsai tree but yeah this is the poor guy right now he's in he's in some pain Good morning, stalkers. So today is Saturday, November 11th or 12th. Is it the 12th? Yeah. Saturday, November 12th. Um, so Maximus is still the exact same. We're just taking it day by day. Um, we are going to be starting prednisone on Tuesday with the vet. And it's a 50-50. Either it's going to cure him and well not cure him but increase his white cells the neutrophils so that he just has to take prednisone the rest of his life or it will make him drop drastically and we will have to put him down so this is the very last thing we can do for him it's it's that or just put him down so I want to take the chance and try the prednisone to see if it's going to work um, Monday I'm taking my sister to Toronto to see my dad to get her new cell phone because it gets shipped to him. So my dad loves Max a lot. So we're gonna surprise him coming down on Monday and spending the night in Toronto and I'm gonna bring Max. So he can see him in case he does end up passing away 
because I don't want to leave Max here and my dad doesn't get to see him before he passes away because he loves that dog so much. So just wanted to let you guys know that that's going to be happening on Monday. This is going to be the last little vlog of Maximus before we go through the treatment process. I just wanted to give you guys the update of the past week of what's been going on and then I will up you, update you guys with what's happening for the prednisone treatment next week. Fingers crossed and hoping that it works, but it's gonna be pretty sad mm -hmm. if, if we lose him. Hi, honey. What's, you guys can see him over there. He's still in a lot of pain. It's gonna suck a lot because this month's my birthday. November 19th, I turn 25. I really hope I don't lose my dog on my birthday. Would suck. Yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, well, can't really say that you enjoyed this past week of dealing with Maximus and me and all of that. But I really hope you guys like being included in all this little stuff that we do in our family. Um, I'm keeping this on my beauty channel, not the vlog channel, because a lot more of you watch my beauty channel than the vlog channel. But if you do, if you do want to follow my day-to-day -day life on the vlog channel, you can head over to Reasons to Smile. I'll put a link in the descri description bar down below for you guys to check it out as well. I hope you guys like being around for all of this and thank you guys so much for all the love and care you've given me and shown me and Max and asking how he's doing. Fingers crossed. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. It means a lot. And yeah, I'll up update you guys next week on him. We had a little scare with Maximus. Um, he woke up in the middle of the night and was not his normal self. He was pacing like crazy, panting very, very heavily, was hunched, would not lay down. Um, I was terrified that he...